Good morning, everybody. Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be talking very quickly about four or five stocks slash ETFs that I'm personally looking to trade today on the 1st of March, kicking off this new month on a solid note. So let's get right into it, guys. For those of you all that watched my video yesterday, the afternoon video, you saw that I talked about many of these stocks and ETFs that we're going to be talking about in this morning's video and Square was one of those stocks. So for those of you all that were paying attention to the markets yesterday, Square reported earnings. The stock fell down to about $74 per share, all the way down. I believe it might have been like $73 per share after market hours on uh, what day was this? It wasn't, uh, it was on Wednesday, I believe they reported earnings. After market hours, the stock tanked and we saw it fill the gap all the way back up from $74 all the way back to about $83. And what we talked about in yesterday's video and what I want to see today before trading square stock is I want to see it hold this old resistance as a new support at around $81. And the fact that we do see a nice pullback right here, uh, pre-market hours from about $82.85, which was actually we hit this point at about 5 a.m. a couple hours ago, 82.85, and we're pulling back to this old resistance and holding it as a new support. This is actually a really good sign heading into the market open here in about 20 minutes from the time that I'm recording this video. So pretty much, guys, you know, this is the support that we're looking for to hold above at about $81 due to it being an old resistance from back in October and November of 2018. So the whole idea here, if we do end up holding this new support and we slowly start to fill the gap here heading into the market open, this could be a very good day trade from about $81 up to about $83, which is the next resistance that we're looking to push to in terms of square stock. So I'm watching this one very closely, guys. Ideally, I would like to enter this at about $81, $81.25. Once we do confirm the push here and the slow confirmation push up to the gap fill at about $83. So square, that's the first one I'm watching today. On the 1st of March, in 2019. And another one I'm watching, guys, is JNUG. We saw a huge, huge sell off today and yesterday in the gold futures here slash GC. And we all know that JNUG is an ETF that goes up in price whenever gold futures are going up in price, right? And the fact that we sold off very heavily, that means JNUG has a very big, very, very big margin of profit open for it from about 1050 where we are right now, guys, up to previous resistances at about, let's say the first one here is at about 1180. That offers about 12%. And the next one is at about 1360 that offers about 23.5% margin of profit. So what am I watching for JNUG this morning, guys? I'm watching and looking to see on this 184-hour chart here, are we going to be able to hold above this 180 SMA, which has been a support in the past, once here back in the middle to the end of January in 2019, where we bounced at $8.38? And are we going to hold this old resistance at about 1038, 1040, 1050-ish? as a new support level where we did actually end up bouncing a couple of weeks ago back in the middle of February in 2019. So this area right here, very solid support for JNUG, and I do think if gold futures end up starting to push back this morning heading into the afternoon, this could be a very good play up to the next resistance at about $11.50, which again offers about a 10, 11, 12% margin of profit here for JNUG, which is the bull ETF uh, that correlates with gold. So another one that I'm trading today, guys, that I'm looking to add more money in, in into is Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO. And for those of you guys that don't know, I'm in this one roughly at about $45 per share. I got in on Wednesday. And the reason why I got into Coca-Cola, guys, is A, they have a dividend coming up on the 14th of March. We ended up holding above this support where we bounced back in October 
and in August of 2018. And the fact that I personally got in here with about 10-15% of my position is really a comfortable spot for me, guys. Because, you know, for all you that watch the videos, you know when I'm swing trading a stock and KO is a swing trading position here, I like to scale to my positions with about 10-15-20% of the goal position. So this way, if the stock doesn't go my way initially, right... I'll be able to lose a smaller dollar value when it does trigger my stop loss at about 1.52%, depending on, on the uh, the particular stock, as opposed to if I hopped in all the way with 100% of my gold position, I would lose more dollar value um, if it did end up going down and triggering my stop loss, um, you know, in any situation, right? So the whole idea here, guys, why I want to add more money to Coca-Cola is because it does seem like right now, pre-market hours, it is fighting to bring break out of this 50 SMA resistance. And for those of you guys that watched my video yesterday, I talked about how I want to add more into Coca-Cola once we do break out of this 50 SMA resistance and this $46 resistance from back towards the uh, you know middle half of February in 2019. So as of right now, guys, I'm up a decent amount on Coca-Cola, not much. Let's see, from $45 roughly up to where I am right now. Up about 1% one per, one on my position right now. And again, this is a swing position that I do plan on holding here for two, three weeks to capture this dividend right here of about 40 cents per share. So Coca-Cola guys, Square, JNUG, those are three of the main ones that I'm watching today. And another one that I'm watching is crude oil guys. Crude oil, there's an ETF combo that trades based upon crude oil that we always like to talk about on this channel and that we trade a lot, me personally and a lot of people in the community. And those two are UWT and DWT. And take a look at this crude oil pattern right here guys. It seems like we are showing a double top formation in terms of crude oil, which isn't necessarily a bullish sign, right? This is kind of a bearish sign, especially if we do end up breaking this 50 SMA here and we start to break through these support levels. This could be a good sign to hop into DWT, which is the bear ETF that trades based upon crude oil. Obviously, whenever crude oil is going down, DWT is going up in price. But if we take a look Look back here to crude oil. Let's say today we successfully hold above this 50 SMA as a support and continue to to push in this uptrend pattern formation that we've been in, illustrated by this trend line. You know, this could be a good time to hop into UWT, which is the bull ETF, and especially if we end up breaking out of this. 5750 resistance guys because this is a huge spot right here that's really holding us back from crude oil continuing the uptrend and if crude oil ends up bursting through this resistance that's going to be the continuation of the uptrend and UWT is going to continue to be a beast of an ETF to trade in and out of as long as this is continuing the uptrend but again if we get rejected which it is looking like we are but if we get that another if we get another uh you know further confirming factor in this case being breaking this trend breaking the 50 SMA and then breaking the supports that could be a DWT opportunity which again is the bear ETF so in terms of ETFs guys the main ones I'm watching today are UWT DWT and uh JNUG as well as Coca-Cola and Square. And another one that I'm interested in potentially looking at right now is Tesla, guys. So for those of you guys that don't know, yesterday Tesla announced that pretty much they're releasing a very cheap Model 3. We've been expecting it, but yesterday we saw on the website you can get a Model 3 for about $27,000 base model, whatever, right? And of course, there's packages you can add $5,000 for the autopilot, like $2,000 for something else. I can't forget, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. But you know, this 
caused some excitement in Tesla stock over the past couple of days. We see from 288, guys, it went all the way up to 325, got rejected by that resistance that we were talking about a couple of days ago. But now we see a nice pullback, and we're holding this 50 SMA here on this 180 chart, and it's looking like we're pushing up, heading into the market open here in about 13 minutes. So I'm going to be watching to see, are we going to continue this uptrend push here with the good news that we did get yesterday? Is it going to carry over into the market? market today and if it does guys we could potentially end up capturing a nice three four percent margin of profit on tesla from this support level back up to previous resistances at about 320 to 322 so that's what i'm pretty much watching as of right now guys at the time that i'm recording this video tesla coca-cola square jnug and uwt slash dwt depending on what crude oil ends up doing here within the next one to two hours so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little morning video if you did feel free to leave a like drop a comment down below let me know what you guys are trading i would love to know and of course if you're new to the channel consider subscribing hit that notification bell i make market update videos and trading update videos every single day with trading tips and personal finance videos sprinkled all around in this channel as well so i hope you guys enjoy all the content good luck today i'll catch you guys later